The name is Big Boy, Daddy Fat Sax, the nigga that like them Cadillacs. I stay down with these streets, cause these streets is where my folks at. Better know that, some say we pro black. Hello. Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, it's Grill Frilla. And this is some P90 rushing. And, uh, yeah, this is. Uh, on this side of the map, on Rundown for Domination, on the C side, it's like the worst side. You either need to bolt for A, right in the beginning, like I'm doing, because I know if you get A, you're successful. Because you can spawn trap them at C, like, ridiculously easy. Because their little, um, that building I'm looking at right now, across the map, the sniper building, that, um, and you know everyone camps up in there, so they can defend B if anyone tries taking B. And you can do it your thing if you want to do your thing. Um, I start off with the super elite double spray, and um, and I'm just, I'm just pushing A. I really want to just mess them up at A just so they can't advance over to B. And um, actually, I think that gets unsuccessful right now. But I do a pretty good score. I'm not using the UMP silence. I know pretty much everyone now hates the UMP silenced. Um, seeing gameplay with it, even though it is, in my opinion. Uh, it is, it's not as overpowered. If you're not using sobbing power, I think the the UMP silenced isn't, it's not that overpowered. It's not that bad at all to me. Um, because I, I don't know. When I use it, I find, lately I feel like <clears throat> the only class I can use is just the, the, um, the bear thermal with the slider hand sobbing power ninja. That's, it's, I don't know. I, it's reliable. It gets one shot kills more often than an intervention to me. I'm I use the intervention just today. I got on for a little bit. I was playing for about thirty minutes in. I want to use the intervention reg scope because that's what people think's the best. Like, oh, if you're using a thermal on it, on a bear, you're a noob because thermals for noobs and bear is semi-auto, which means you're a noob. And yeah, so I was trying to see if I could, how decent I am or if I'm as good as I am with the intervention as I am with the Barret and um, I was just getting hit marker every single, every single time I shot someone it's just a hit marker, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker and and I heard it was a I don't know, one of my friends told me that the intervention was the same thing as the R700 like they made it the same gun, it's just basically a sleight of hand pro so that's why it zooms in faster in this game, yeah but um I heard it was the exact same gun, sway and recoil and stuff like that. I guess they just changed the sound and stuff. But um, but I guess I can understand that. Like if that was true, if it is true, then it makes sense because I remember whenever I used the R seven hundred, it was just a hit mark city, hit marker city. And right now, um, Robert Bowling is not allowing me to cap this flag because he is an evil man. And um, now, see, there you go. Now he let me do it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, with the whole sniper thing, um, I'm gonna have a little montage, daytage thingy, something. Just something. With, uh, some Barrett clips. And, um, and I, I can get clips pretty easily with that gun. I'm surprisingly good at quick scoping. Surprisingly better at quick scoping than I am with the intervention that I am with the bear thermal. Well, maybe it's just because it's it's noob friendly. I don't know. I just remember there was a video. Um, Zer Grizz made that one commentary. If you guys saw it, he doesn't do commentaries. He just does montages. But he made a commentary recently over his. Um, I can't remember wh where I saw it, but he's talking about like his favorite running gun sniper class. And to me, I like running gunning with snipers more. I know it's not like full on SMG running gunning when you use a sniper, but just kind of moving around more and being more active with it. And he said his favorite was uh, a Barrett Thermal and I think Commando, and I I just don't do Commando. So I put it in a perk that I thought would be more useful, which is um, Ninja. And he had this class pretty much right, and um, see the UMP, it's not that strong. It took a while to take that guy down. And yeah, that's why I don't do commando. Cause you, did you guys see that class? At Sign Pirate UMP with commando. Man, that that guy's that guy's pretty beast. I'm not gonna lie. If sometimes I just wish I was good as half these few people on here. Cause you know the the Sign Pirate UMP with the commando. 
it is a pretty elite class to be using but um but yeah I don't I don't do the command thing that was a joke by the way I don't really believe what I just said um I don't do the whole commander thing I just plus I don't even knife that much because I play in tactical button layout which means B is my knife button Xbox controller um B is my knife button so uh so normally your guys' crouch button whoever doesn't use tactical is my knife so it is harder to to, to knife someone I have to I have to line it up then have to pull my finger off of the stick that controls your um your I don't know what you call it just like you're looking around not your movement but like your head swivel or whatever I have to take my hand off that stick and then switch over to B and press B to knife so if someone's running across my face I can hit B but they'll probably be past me by the time I hit B just because it's a slow reaction put on top of reaction time and everything and it's it's more difficult to knife people so if you're wondering why I don't do that much knifing that's why and also that's why I don't use commando and also because I think it is pretty new perk I'd use it just to mess with people but I can't even do that because I suck so much at knifing because of the whole tactical and I don't know. If you guys don't use tactical, I very, 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 very much encourage tactical button layout because it feels like it makes you so much better of a player. Just because you can you get to cover faster, you can, I don't know, you can drop shot like, like super easily. I might drop shot a couple times. Lately, I don't know. I don't really drop shot that much anymore just because I guess I'm lazy and I want to see if I'm better than people just by standing up and like you know maybe just to work on my aim I don't know why I don't drop shot that much but if I wanted to I could drop shot every single kill in the every single kill I get but yeah I don't really do that um hold on one second Use it out. close the door sorry about that uh, my brother came in I told him to leave because I don't like people in here when I commentating because I'm talking to myself and it's kind of awkward when you're just like in a room Blabbing on about random topics that have to do with video games, and then I don't, I don't want someone listening to me, and he's probably gonna want to be talking. So, yeah, I don't want him distracting me or anything. But um, yeah, d doing commentaries is it's fun and everything. But um, but yeah, I do like my my peace and quiet when I do my commentaries, cause um. Because if I get a little weird, say something weird, I don't want someone hearing me. And plus, there's probably people, like, when someone walks past my room, because there's a lot of people in my house, brothers, sisters, mothers, and fathers, they walk past my room and they hear me just talking, like, <laughs> I don't want them thinking I'm crazy or anything, you know? Just like, why is Miles in there? By the way, my name's Miles, if I never said so. <laughs> but, um, why is Miles talking to himself? I don't know, but I don't know, it's not that big of a deal because I'm usually yelling at my Xbox mic whenever I'm playing Xbox anyways, just because um, I, I get frustrated easily when I play, and I like to express that. Yeah, uh, right here, gameplay, um, I will, we locked them down into the C position. See how long it took us to get them to spawn flip? That's how this map is. Ooh, the elite guy again with the stopping power commando got me. But, um... Uh, I don't know, I guess it's some pretty s s entertaining gameplay. I did stay on the A side in that whole, like, area most of the time. I wasn't, like, running circles around the map, but... I do my fair amount of moving around. I, when I do, when you do see me, like, camping, it is because I do get into, like, a, a strategic position. And I am, I know where that they're gonna, they're gonna be coming in front of me. Like, right here, I keep looking at that doorway, because I know that they spawn right out there, usually. When you have them spawn trapped at C. And um, this is the best kill in Modern Warfare 2 history. As I get wall banged. Um, and also, I'm running low streaks in this game. If you haven't noticed so far, I got the 3 4 7, I think, on. Very strange, I know. But um, I get a good score. I go 48 and 11. Sorry for spawning it, but I mean, I just want to explain why. I just want to bring that up because. Alright, I do this good. People like. Um, there's people on Xbox and they post these incredible 60 plus game scores but when you look at their setups they're using they're using like the UMP silence stopping power 
and or some crazy overpowered gun noob tubes they go 90 and 5 like look at this it's, I know it's noob tubes but it's 90 and 5 it's like yeah and plus their AC 130s doing half the work for them so just appreciate the the fact that I went 48 and 11 not using the UMP silenced which is the easiest one to use and using low kill streaks yeah so <clears throat> I'm I think this is a pretty good one so um, I'll see you guys later at the next gameplay and hopefully my LGU one will be up semi soon posted to them and also look out for that um, that montage it will be coming out sort of soon week two week or two maybe so um yeah look out for that see you guys later peace